Are you lacking a little bit of energy? Do you need a little bit of a boost? Or maybe you just want a tasty beverage. I got you covered. Introducing G Fuel, a sugar-free formula with loads of different flavors to choose from that'll give you a boost. These are a couple of the flavors out of the many that I really, really like. Now, G Fuel also has a non-caffeine line called Hydration, and these are absolute bangers containing a lot of electrolytes and vitamins. By using code SALT, you can get 20% off your purchase right now. Link in the description of the video. If you miss the SALT, it's not my fault. What's up, it's you for today's video with a Ogre Pond Wellspring Sweep. So tonight is a double upload. We did the Ogre Pond Cornerstone earlier on, and I thought we may as well get all these masks done. So Ogre Pond Wellspring is a grass and water type Pokemon, and it's got the ability Water Absorb, which really isn't super duper exciting, and there wasn't too many things I could really work with it. So upon uh, terrestrializing, this Pokemon gets a plus one in special defense. So... I guess it makes it more of a uh, a bulky uh, a bulky sweeper really. Uh, this battle this is against is it Key or Kai? I'm not really sure how to say that name. And they have got a Nine Tails Alola lead. So I've got my Orthwarm here, and I'm thinking this is actually a pretty good matchup to pass off a substitute and to get the ball rolling here. I actually had a uh, Steel Beam. I was like, man, that Nine Tails is lucky. I could have Steel Beamed it. Now it's going to go for a Aurora Veil, boosting its, uh, obviously its physical special uh, defenses there. I'm going to be going for the Shed Tail and passing it off into the Ogre Pond to see if I can get this sweep. I've got to bypass that Aurora Veil with damage. So I'm thinking I need a couple of boosts in attack. Can anyone guess the nickname of my Ogre Pond? I was so close there, that Cleaver getting the Trailblaze, and then the second one managed to outspeed me. So the Focus Sash got me in the end there, but I was very close. That was actually my very first uh, go at trying. Uh, this opponent, uh, well, look, we've got a ground on lead, so uh, I'm in a fair bit of trouble here. However, won't be able to use a, uh, a ground move at all. So I'm going to go for the Shed Tail. Groudon is going to go for a Stealth Rock. I thought it might actually attack me there. Guessing I'm going to go for my move. Or maybe it doesn't have a lot to hit me with. I thought it might go for like a Fire Punch or something like that. Anyway, I've got the uh, Subtrude off. And we're going to pass that on to the Wellspring Ogre Pond. And hopefully this time we can get that W. All right, people. Let's get it.
Ah, oh, there we go. A nice, juicy little baby bottle. I knew that was going to happen. Literally, the uh, Ogre Pond uh, hit the Glimora and the health bar's going down. They didn't even wait for that thing to faint. They just rage quit it, which is pretty funny. Uh, next opponent, I'm not sure of the uh, opponent's name here. We have this Charizard and it's going to use Fire Blast. It was just cooking my entire team here. And I thought, well, they'll probably use it again, but they use Focus Miss instead. Same result. Let's get it, people. Let's get that W. All right, we finally got the win in the end there with the Ogre Pond Wellspring and boy oh boy that Charizard at the start that was extra funny because I'm not I don't know what they're thinking right maybe that's thought I'd tear it and then they went for Focus Blast instead but I don't know um, going for Focus Blast was quite risky there because I could have got the uh, Shed Tail off but in the end I managed to win there which is cool so this set wasn't quite as creative as my other Ogre Ponds but I didn't have a lot to work with here because I was thinking how can I make Water Absorb interesting and there's not too many ways uh, with this Pokemon and on the Special side too. If you see it's special move, there's not uh, too much to work there. So we've got a, uh, a sword dance set with Ivy uh, Kujel, and that changes into a water type when it's attacked, as you got to see. We have Horn Leech there for recovery. Now, if you're wondering on that Mewtwo, I accidentally pressed a uh, Horn Leech instead of. Uh, uh, Ivy could get a uh, could yell. Uh, so that's uh, I didn't mean to do that like on purpose So like uh, when I seen the uh, Mewtwo using side strike I was like, oh no, and I managed to live which is really really cool And of course the other move is stomping tantrum for any electric type Pokemon uh, Max Dak and Max Speed Jolly Nature and it worked well across the board. The next Ogre Pond will be tomorrow. Peace out <laughs>